Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SAS Metric School. Hope everyone was well. So today let's talk churn. What is churn exactly? Sometimes churn is actually ambiguous, even though it should be a straightforward concept and metric in the SAS world. So first, what is churn? So we have really two types of churn. We have churn in the form of customers completely leaving us. So we lose that customer and we lose all associated dollars with that. We also have a churn bucket called contraction or downgrades. So a customer is paying us $10 a month and the next month they're paying us $5 a month. We have contraction of $5 and that also goes into the churn bucket. Now, of course, you could have just really just that straight churn number, just those customers completely leaving us. But typically when we talk churn, we're talking both contraction and churn, and again, churn in the form of customers completely leaving us. So make sure internally we're defining what does churn mean? Is it just straight churn or does it also include contraction churn? So really important, and that has a big impact on our retention numbers. So another big question that comes up when we track churn and we report churn is when should we count churn in our reports? So from a CFO perspective, we count churn the month that that revenue changes in the form of a downgrade, or if they completely leave us when that revenue stops in that corresponding month. Now, we know on the customer success side, sometimes they count churn when they're told that, say, that customer is churning. They say, hey, in six months, we're not renewing, and they record it in a churn report at that point in time. Now, that sometimes causes a discrepancy with your CFO when they record churn, and churn recorded when that revenue actually leaves us. And that's when, you know, from a CFO's perspective, that's when we're counting churn in our reports and also downgrades. So just a quick note on churn, it includes both churn and downgrades, but again, make sure internally you're defining that and you understand what is actually going into that churn number and how that then flows into your retention metrics. Hope you enjoyed the episode today. Thanks a lot.